walk or drive along the Cumberland River and you'll see flood walls like this one and levees in every city that you drive by. But these are costly measures and they're also time consuming, but they can also have a big impact. As he takes in all the beauty, Alexander Gibson is also thinking about how difficult it is to live in eastern Kentucky, an area of Appalachia he's lived in for most of his life, constantly dealing with what he calls a cycle of fighting. Fair, fair is not the right word to describe it. It's been, um, it's been rough all around. Fighting the decline of a major industry that left many in poverty, fighting stereotypes, and fighting flooding again and again be a reason for some to, to, to move, and this will be a reason for some to move back. Many people in businesses like the Apple Shop, which Gibson runs, had minor flood controls in place. Are we able to do major flood mitigation, which is what is really required and which would require state and federal support on a greater level? In Kentucky, there isn't one agency in charge of flood control, even though floods happen in Kentucky every year and are the most frequent and costly natural hazard. County cities in area development districts are responsible for coming up with their own hazard mitigation plans and then applying for federal assistance to start flood control and mitigation projects. We tried to find a living document that lists all the flood control projects across the state and couldn't find one. Congressman Rogers office. But we did get to sit down with Congressman Hal Rogers, who's been working on flood projects with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for the past 40 years to find out why we don't see more investment in flood control. You have to get environmental approval and community acceptance, all sorts of steps they have to take, not to mention, finally, me trying to find the money for it. So far, Rogers has secured $800 million for projects, rerouting rivers through mountains, building flood walls and levees, flood proofing and relocating entire communities. It took us 100% attention on that effort for all these years. There are now levees and flood walls all along the Cumberland River in four different cities. It's a time consuming project taking years from start to finish, but this area hasn't seen a major flood since. It works. There are a lot of federal programs for disaster planning and mitigation, but for some local governments, even applying can be a challenge. Grants from FEMA to fund the project are reimbursement based and only cover 75%, although July's flood was unprecedented and may not have been able to be prevented. Rogers is working with the Corps of Engineers now to study what happened and see if anything can be done in the future. Hopefully we can find a way. Gibson is hoping investments continue to pour in the area, even as the days go by and the national attention calms like the river. In Whitley County, Christiana Ford, Evening Edition.